Hello and welcome back. So I am out at the build site where we're going to put our blue circuits. If I zoom in, right, and I think they're called processing units rather than blue circuits. Anyway, blue circuits. Um, so what we need is a bot build for this. Now, at least Initially, I'm going to be building the green circuits elsewhere. Um, we need one green circuit machine for each blue circuit machine. But, um, and I know a lot of people try and do these builds so that you get direct insert, uh, but I've already got a green circuit build which is making green circuits. Um, this is going to be a lot of green circuits to move into each of the blue machines, uh, but it would be nearly twice as much in copper and iron to move into this site. So uh, I'd rather keep down the, the load here. All right, what we're gonna do is start to look at what the possibilities are. So this is gonna make processing units. We will fill it up with productivity and start giving it beacons. So we're going to initially go for a 12 beacon build, see how far we can get with that. And pretty much as soon as we get something which looks like it will work, we will stop there. Um, let's have a stand inserter filling it and a stack inserter emptying it. Uh, we have a requester chest and a passive provider. Then it can be powered up. We're going to have to use small power poles. There's not room to put in um, a big pole. Uh, so this has circuits, greens and reds, uh, but also has an acid input, sulfuric acid. So that's going to require some pipes. There we go. So that is our module. Now let's do a max rate on this. So this max rate apparently this produces 67 advanced circuits a minute and takes in nearly a thousand items a minute plus the fluid okay um, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the fluid in yet whether I'm gonna bring it in in barrels or in a fluid wagon um, I like the idea of barrels because if I need quite a lot of fluid on this site, I could then fly that into little barreling machines that I dot throughout the build, which supply bits of the build. Uh, on the other hand, uh, fluid wagons are much simpler logistically. You just bring in the fluid wagon and take it out again. Whereas with barrels, you have to set up loading, unloading barrel trains, and it, it's just a bit of a pain. So let's see what a barrel build would look like. Basically, I'm going to duplicate this and then swap the advanced circuit machine for a barrels machine, and we will see what happens there. So let's change this recipe to sulfuric acid emptying. We can't put productivity mods in, otherwise you could barrel and unbarrel and magic new sulfuric acid out of nowhere. So, what does max rate calculator say about this? Holy moly. Okay, so, um, <laughs> we need 240 units of sulfuric acid to run one blue chip machine. This is producing 168,000. So that's like, well over 
3,000 times what we need. Is that more than, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's in the order of a thousand times too much. And there is no way we're gonna be doing a thousand blue circuits here. Uh, so I'm gonna call that overkill. Um, so we have two options. We could either go for complete overkill and have one unbarreling machine per row, or the volume of sulfuric acid may be so low that um, we just bring in a fluid train, have a tank, and do it that way. We may even be able to get away with a tank across multiple builds. So let's see. Um, where's my blueprint gone? Okay. So from memory, we have room here for 13 builds within the default logistics range. We can extend that out a certain amount if we have to. Right, is that 13? That's 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Let's rip this up for spare parts. Don't think we need it. Great. We need uh, basically beacons. It's always the beacons. Um, right, so let's grab a load of those. They only stack to 10, which is frustrating. Right, and there we are. Wonderful. So let's max rate this and see how we do it. Because we'd be looking at three rows of this size. So that produces 866 a minute. OK. Um, 866 a minute. And what do we need for our completely crazy 10K build? See if I can find here we are. Okay. So um where's the we need the processing unit that's copper, that's plastic, coal advanced circuits, steel. Oh, I don't have one up here for, okay. Um, right, I was watching a PVP match. Let's get rid of that, that's not relevant. Maybe we have lost. Yeah, maybe I have lost it. All right, let's see if we can redo that. Okay. So we want Whoops. 10,000 circuits. And go to the advanced settings. We want to only use fast assemblers. Uh, and we want to have a productivity bonus of 40%. Ignore the speeds for now. 
Um, and I want to count up all the blue circuits we're making. Okay. See if that has worked. Blue circuits. So we need 18,000 in total. Okay. This says we're doing 800. I think we may be all right. So we're missing a productivity module there. Grab another stack of those. Right, let's find a calculator. So So apparently we need um, 18,000 processing units. Okay, let's go back to the calculator wherever that has hidden itself. Okay, 18,000. Um, divided by eight six six is twenty. So that's twenty of these builds, right? But we get six of these per module. So we need three and a half builds if we squeeze three of these in. Okay, that's not too bad. That would be for the 10K base, which is the ridiculous one, which we obviously will not get to. Um, but one of these, the full build, would be um, would still be a sort of one, two, three K base. So I, I think we'll go with this. Um, it's probably making people cry right now with the sheer number of red circuits which are flying around, but to be honest, uh, we're basically trading flying one green circuit for flying a lot of iron and copper plates, so I'm comfortable with that. Alright, so this is our single module. Now what do we need to do to make this behave? We need to add in the wires for the clock. Oh, this is 14 rather than 13. Have I? No, that is 13. I just can't count. Right, so now it's got wires. I am going to blueprint this whole strip. Here we go. I'm going to rip this up. My inventory is full already, of course. Right, well, the best way to fix that is to put this down. And I think that is the positioning that gets the boxes just in range. Okay, so having put that down, that will clear out some inventory. There we are. And we need one, two, three. Look at that spray down. Okay, more beacons. So the 
these builds themselves are not complicated. Uh, I don't want to insult your intelligence by pretending they are. Um, I'm quite relaxed about that. The issue is more that um, the train network is going to have to be tuned. Right, do we still have some assembly machines in... No, so maybe all of those have gone. Grab another hundred of those just in case. So yeah, the build themselves aren't rocket science. Well, the rocket science build will be obviously. Um, they're pretty much just these grids. What is going to be tricky is tuning them so that they um, they scale, that they run at full speed, that sort of thing. Um, right, I need more beacons. That's more beacons. Probably could have moved the train closer. Meh. And I think that's it. Right, so let's do a count. So this produces 2.6k. Which is pretty good. Okay, let's take a blueprint of this half, including the rover ports, and put that down. Okay, I am going to bring the train around to this, and we probably won't have enough materials for a full build at this time, but I would quite like to get the whole thing totally built. Ah, that was a mistake. Okay, so. Um, I do not want to place this second half yet because we don't have the um, station will set up correctly. All right, let's stop there. Yeah, thank you very much. You're a bit overzealous. Right, let's take that out. Because we need to drop off red circuits and green circuits here. So we've got, um, this is the pickup. Um, we've got that problem with the circuit crossing over, have we? Um, let's look from the map. No, that's okay. It's got the switch in and everything. So we'll figure out the settings for that and for the clock in a minute. Um, what we need is a, another rail line in. So this is a three rail design. Okay, so are we not getting radar coverage? Oh, that's sad. Uh, I think we have... Um, neglected to put down radars everywhere. All right, let's fix that. So, obviously that's what I want to do. I want to put down all my modules here. So this is a three materials site. Um, let's put down a radar so it can now be viewed. Where's a good place? Let's put it down here. We can see the whole thing from there and it doesn't bump into anywhere that we would potentially be putting radars in future. Okay. So let's get a new blueprint. We need to take this whole segment here. Because this is the bit which yeah, and we'll take a bit of that corner just as something to, to locate. Right, so I don't want the beacons or the boxes. Do I want 
I want the red boxes which are down here, but not the ones which are out here. No assembly machines. Don't need any of the circuit stuff. We'll keep those. Right, and then, so I need to scrub all. I wish there was a better way to manipulate blueprints. I wish there was a, an inbuilt blueprint editor, basically. Um, okay, have I scrubbed this very effectively? Probably not. Um, right, and I don't want substations. They can all go. Great. I'm a bit worried that this side, it's going to start blueprinting down things that I don't want blueprinted, uh, inserters and stuff. So I want to get rid of all that. Um, it's completely the wrong design for the blue circuits because this is our funky 10 beacon build. Okay, let's look at that now. Loads of stuff still on it. Let's re edit that because it should be easier to see the second time around. Yeah, it is because everything's shrunk a little bit. Right, don't. Yeah, I do need that because that's the one that brings power in. There's no way to set a big brush to just block out whole areas. You can't sort of pick up a destructor blueprint and start blocking off sections. The left hand side doesn't matter so much. I can pull that up once it's gone down. I think that's that side done. I could of course put this down in a bit of empty map. Um, but I've got a feeling that would end up into here somehow. All right, that'll do. Oh forest in the way. Go away, forest. Okay, so that fits over there. Okay, so lots of stuff doesn't match. Um, so let's start ripping up rail. All this can go. Take this, but not the power station. And then um, all of what was this side needing to go? No, that's all fairly okay. There's a that needs to go. Okay, and then there's uh, a couple of power poles which need to be shifted. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so this stuff here needs to move. Um, the problem is that it is wired, so moving it potentially destroys the wiring. Um, Alright, 
let's make a new, don't need that one anymore. Let's make a blueprint of this stuff without the rails and give it um, T so we can find it. Okay, so then we are going to have to get rid of that. What else? The clock and the switch. Okay, let's see if this fits. Yes, it does. Good, that's the that's good this side. And is it why is it not going down the other side? Okay, we have some issues with foliage. I'll rip those out because yeah, I'm not going to shift click this yet because I don't want to stomp something by accident that really should not be stomped. Um, right, what's... I can't see what's red. something over here okay well, I'm going to place it down anyway okay what we haven't done is set up the rail for the um, fluid I think because there's so little involved we might be able to um, set that up across all of the builds and have a single one near the pack station that deals with it. Okay, up we go. So we have a clock here which is currently set for plates but this needs to change to processing units. Right, then we can put Out there. That's linked. Then this down to what's the cleanest way to do this? I think I'm going to go across these power poles. That's it. And then from the power poles down to the end filter inserter. Great. So the next thing is if we grab our blueprint T, okay, so we have an issue with the SR latch. So let's put that in. That's put in the switch. Okay, then the SR latch is a bit of a pain to redo. So let's take everything else out of the blueprint. Right, we move that out of the way. We need a green wire from the accumulator to the inputs. Then we need the output to the power.
pa power switch. Right, S is greater than zero. This isn't powered up, which is why it's flashing. Ah, it used to be within used to be within the power range of this. Okay, so let's pick that up, put it down again, so it's fully within the power power range of the um, substation. There we are. Okay. So. Yep, don't think we need both of these. No, we don't. Great. Our clock is going and our latch is on. These are not powered up. These cover everything. I may, yeah, I may redesign this to not have these substations, move them all over to the middle. But that requires fiddling around with cables and I'm not gonna do that while you're watching, it's boring. So then this is the second half of the build. And the really important thing is that this wire doesn't reach. Okay. So stuff I need. More power poles. Okay, so that would have been fine one down. So this is the same thing as before. Ah, so these, that was a bit of a mistake. Um, Put down what we can. Right, I'm now going to have to run through all of this. Um, do I have, yes, I still have inserters in my inventory, still have machines. Uh, I'm lacking beacons, but we don't have any more on the train. More speed beacons. and more productivity, okay. Oh, I threw all those prob mods already, goodness me. Who was I thinking I picked up a few too many? Is that everything? Yeah, that is all the prob mods this time. Okay. And I think most of the pipe is down, but not all. Right, we need to run over to the other train for that. It's the undergrounds. Do we have any more? No. Right, this train is a mess. Uh, four reasons. Uh, the original got eaten by biters. Um, right, so we have four of those. Um, best I can do for now. So if I send this train off, to out 
posting, it will fill up that carriage with pipes, which is cool, because I need pipes. Um, right. While that's gone off, I need more of pretty much everything on this train. So let's send this to go to base construction. There we go. This needs to be set to um, set filter. And it, yep, periodically that is flashing. So we are good. I should have done that earlier. Sorry, I hadn't. Yep. Great. And let's do the same here. And here. All right. Yep, that is working. So the, the timing for this is set wrongly. Right, we have the logistics request set. Okay, so then the other thing we need is um, to join all of these pipes together. Because uh, we're going to need to get sulfuric acid into this whole build. For that, I need undergrounds. Okay. So let's find out where both the trains are. This train is coming back to us, which is cool. This train won't have a full inventory. There are no trains with this. Okay. There is a train with this. Great. Click on the train plus advanced circuits pack, circuit condition. Go there now. There are other services I need brought in. So I need to bring in uh, fuel so that the trains can refuel. I need to bring in logistics bots to auto balance across these with the enough bots. Uh, so there is going to be a service area. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but I need, I need to do essentially the same thing for each of the builds, I think. Right. Is the train coming? Yep, the train's coming. It's a big base. It takes a while for trains to go there and back. So do we have a slightly better arrangement here? Yes, we do. Brilliant. Can I, yeah, let's pick up a second stack because I habitually run out of things and then have to take a second row, a second go at it, which is sad. All right. Hey, it was just a couple of them, okay. That's fine. Why is that drone not able to get in? I have three excess drones. How weird. Um, oh yeah, that was a nice trick actually. So I have uh, reserved the last four slots in my inventory for construction bots. What that means is as they fly in and out, they're not moving everything else around in my inventory. So um, I don't have that annoying thing where as the drones are going in and out, the blueprints that I'm trying to pick up are shuffling. Uh, so I quite like that. And I like having them at the end uh, because when my inventory is half full, I can tell the real things from the drones. Okay, 
to is this train on the way? Did did I do that wrong? Um, It is right. Let's put it on auto. Yeah, I think I possibly sent it to the wrong station. Oh, advanced circuits rather than um, processing units. That's what it should have been. Okay, still can't get there because this train is in the way. Uh, I think I've got everything I need from it for now. A dangerous thing to say so let's manually drive this over put it in a stacker be nice and safe there right back down to the blue circuit build all right so Half of those back. Pick all of those up. These trees are annoying me. Great. This radar isn't Powered. Let's move it over one so that it is. Okay, so we need more of those. Who would have imagined that? I did consider putting all my inventory in a box, um, but then I'd probably lose the box. Right, so that is that build. So that's the blue circuit build. The only thing left to do is be brought in okay um, and then basically I don't know how we're going to get the acid into this pipe so let's do a max rate over this whole thing just to check and it takes a moment okay so this produces 5.2k of blue circuits, which I am very happy with, um, and takes 18.7k of acid. Um, so I may find that I want to use barrels after all here, um, if only to get around uh, throughput on pipes. Um, what is the Factorio pipe throughput? Let's ask Google. So I'm doing this on the other screen so you can't see it. Um, right. 
Right, and the first thing I looked at doesn't help. It gives an equation, but no table. Let's go back. Um, no, I'm not finding it. So. I'll do this offline because you don't want to watch as I Google something on the other screen. But um, basically, I need to find out if 18.7 thousand units a second, which is more than one third of a single um, so that's over a third of one of these a second in acid. So if we had a a big train, we would be emptying a big train regularly. I did not expect this build to end up being quite so hungry. So um, yeah, I'm now leaning towards making this into a four track with barrels because then we can shift the barrels. Uh, so. A barrel machine is still completely overkill, but we could put one on the end of each of these builds here, for example. So this could be sulfuric acid unbarrel. Put speed beacons in it. That right. Let's do the rates on this, um, just to see what the delta is on the sulfuric acid. Okay, so we're massively in credit on the sulfuric acid with the one barreling machine. Uh, but we do have to bring in quite a few barrels to do that. Um, so anyway, there's a few other things need tidying up with this build that I'll do off screen. I need to shift these uh, these and their wires over to the middle. Um, yeah, and then figure out if I'm going to have a fluid train or a barrel machine, which I'm not sure at the moment, to be honest. And it relies me to find out what the rate of pipe is. Um, thanks for watching. So this is the bare bones of the advanced circuit, sorry, of the processing unit build. Um, so that's our um, high volume side with the circuits done. The next thing we're going to put on the end of here is plastic. Uh, and then we will need a refinery after that. The refinery is going to be fun and games. Uh, then once the refinery is up I will probably start firing this baby up because I want the um, circuits to make modules I want the modules to make tier 3 modules uh, to get this whole thing built um, so that's the plan really at this point thanks very much for watching I hope you're enjoying um, like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that stuff, and I will see you again soon. Bye.